everyone, I'm Lydia and I am here to review my April bookish box. I was really excited about this one um, because I've, I have peeked at it so I know why I'm excited. Uh, and this one is Favorite Villains which I am really excited about and let's take it. Take a peek and see what you think. So inside here we have got our little information sheet which details the five different items that you get in this package. Um, on average the bookish box costs about $30 give or take depending on what kind of shirt you get with your box. The beauty of it is for $30 you're getting a t-shirt plus some other really fantastic items for those who love books. So, first off, we've got a Sherlock shirt, and they do list the value, so you can calculate exactly what you're getting in terms of the value. Uh, in this case, we've got a $28 item, $12, $3, and $4.50, which is pretty great. Um, I mean, that totals to well over uh, $50 worth of items, which is great value. Um, so first off we've got this Sherlock shirt and this is in their new women's plus size so it is actually um, curved to fit and flatter which I am really really excited about um, and this is a fun one every fairy tale needs a good old-fashioned villain um, I have watched the new Sherlock series mostly. I have not watched all of it, sorry guys, uh, and enjoyed it. And so this particular one, I've got the 2X and I feel like it should be a pretty good fit. I've not tried it on yet. Um, it might be tighter at the chest, but it seems like it will fit pretty well otherwise. So I'll try it and see. So here we have the 2X as tried on. Um, I feel like it fits pretty well. I think it's a little on the snug side, but not to the point where it's at all unflattering. It is simply very fitted um, on me in the sides. Uh, I do think it would show some lines, which you may or may not be interested in, but I do typically wear 2X from the stores that I shop at, like Lane Bryant and Torrid. Sometimes I'll wear three if I want it to be a little more loose and relaxed. So it really just depends on how you like your shirts. I am pretty okay with this, but I might think about the larger size if I wanted it to be more relaxed. Totally my two cents. But uh, this is the first month that they have offered this was April. And I also have my May box with one of these. So now that we've taken a look at the shirt, let's go on to the next item. And this is probably my favorite in the whole box. It is the Snape mug. So we have a quote from Severus Snape of Harry Potter fame. Uh, after all this time, always. And I love it. It's got the great watercolor look and um, it is just a fantastic mug. I really, really like it. And let's see here. What we've got next. So next we've got the Melting Library by Warner's Soaps, which it is in a nice little tin here. And it is actually a candle, not a soap. And it has got um, a nice herbal scent to it. Um, I'm trying to place. There's herbs and florals. And overall it's got kind of a, a clean feeling to it. Um, but it doesn't have a lot of recognizable tones. Um, I can't think offhand of what it might be. 
but it's pretty cute. It's a little two ounce candle from them and it's a nice little travel size that you could take with you. It does not say anything more about the scent in the bottom, it just has the burn instructions. Um, I feel like it's not my favored kind of scent, but it's not bad either. I think I would probably use this. Um, it would be, it would make a very nice gift because the scent is so neutral. I think a lot of people wouldn't mind it. Um, so that's a really nice little item. Uh, the next item is based on the Lunar Chronicles and it is their fairest necklace. So we're going to go a little bit fairy tale and we've got a lovely little mirror necklace inspired I'm sure by Snow White. It is a really nice quality one. I it is nice and heavy. Uh, I don't know how well I can convey that to you guys. I can just kind of thump it on my hand a little. But it is really lovely. Backside there is just as pretty as the front. And I feel like this could be a really fun item that you could actually wear as part of a cosplay, whether it be a more subtle everyday cosplay, a Snow White one, or something that's a little bit more vintage, steampunk, Victorian. It would fit well with all of those. So it's a really fun item that feels like it's fantastic quality and I'm really pleased with that. The length of the chain is really nice and you've got a nice little hook closure, the, the typical lobster claw, and uh, it's not too tough. I always have trouble with them. so. Very good. The last item is a bookmark. And this is from the Grisha Trilogy. Make me your fine villain. Which is a fun quote. And then on the back side it says, I've seen what you truly are and I've never turned away. I never will. The Darkling. Uh, this has got a nice matte finish and almost a silicone feel to the finish as well. Uh, it is nice quality. It seems like it would last a good long time. Uh, and of course it will probably not hold up as well if you really abuse it. It is a bookmark. <laughs> um, so overall I feel pretty great about this box. I've been thinking about putting together a fun steampunk outfit and so between that, the shirt, the mug, it's fantastic. It's good value. Um, very happy. So tell me what you think, if it's worth it to you, what items you liked, what you didn't. I want to hear all about it in the down below. And if you want to hear more from me, please click like and subscribe so that you can see what I'm doing in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.